Hey everyone, what's up? So this is my heart shaped PCB necklace. The idea here was to make a necklace from PCB that glows. The concept here was also pretty simple. It's basically a blinky board that consists 36 LEDs and these 36 LEDs are driven by an 80 tiny 84 MCU. I first searched for an heart image that would be suitable for adding LEDs and components. I selected this image in the end. I first imported this image on the Fusion 360 and sketched the exposed white lines. Then I used the extrude function to make this 2D sketch into a 3D shape. Now we have a 3D heart shape which will act as a base for our PCB design. Let me show you how. My plan is to convert this 3D shape into a drawing and then export the top layer's DXF file so my AUR-CAD PCB suit can import this DFX file which will be then used to make the PCB outline and the art patterns. After finalizing the shape, I prepared the schematic which consists of total 36 LEDs. 6 LEDs are in parallel and there are a total of 6 different LED setup driven by 6 different 8205S and channel MOSFET IC. These MOSFET ICs are then controlled by an 80 tiny 84 MCU. We can change the LED glow pattern by pressing this button. After following this schematic and making a PCB board with these component, I send the Gerber data to PCB Wave for samples. I received the PCBs in a week which was really fast. I choose red solder mask for this project with a white sill screen. I've left opening in the solder mask on the both side so the LED will be visible from the top side. The quality of the PCB that I received was just awesome. I've been using their service for a while now and I have to say, it's pretty decent for getting started. Check out PCB way from here. To start the assembly process of this board, I first added solder paste to each component pad one by one. Then I added all the components on their place using a ESD tweezer. After this I added the PCB on my SMT hot plate for the reflow process. After the reflow process, I started the LED placement on the bottom side of board. Now here's something odd. My plan is to add LEDs on the bottom side of PCB but the orientation of these LEDs would be inverted. Which means I'm gonna add them upside down so their glow will be visible from the top side. To accomplish this method, I have added 1206 pad on the PCB and I'm using 0805 package LEDs with this 1206 pad. By using smaller LED package, soldering them would be much easier. To solder one LED, we first have to add solder on the one side of pad. Then place the LED in its place and then reheat the pad again so solder paste would grip the LED from the other end. When the solder paste holds the LED from one side, we add solder paste on the other side and this basically is the entire process of adding LEDs with a soldering iron. The trick here is to be quick and let the solder paste dry before removing the tweezer from LED. By following this process, I soldered the remaining 35 LEDs and this was the result. I then use a multimeter to test each LED for proper soldering. We just have to set the multimeter in the diode checking mode and place the LED probe on the positive and negative side of LED. LEDs are working which means we can now move on to the next step which is to program the 80 tiny 84. This was the sketch that I will be using in this PCB batch. For uploading this sketch onto the 80 tiny 84, I will be using my 80 tiny programmer that uses an Arduino Nano which acts as an ISP device that can burn bootloader and upload this sketch to any AVR MCU. You can learn more about this from here. After flashing the MCU, I run into a small problem, which was this. I added load resistor in series with the coin cell to limit the current drawn by LED. But the programming header pin was connected directly to all the LEDs. So when the LEDs turn on, they immediately draw the max current and got burned out. In the end, almost every LED on this heart board was dead. To make things right, I had to remove all the LEDs from the bottom side and then again add LEDs by following the same exact process of adding LEDs inverted. Unfortunately, I ran out of red LEDs so I had to use blue ones but this was the end result. Then in the end, I tested the blue LEDs with a multimeter to check the soldering process. 
After adding LEDs again, I added the remaining components which were the SMD coin cell holder and the slide switch from the bottom side of board. I first added the coin cell holder and then added the slide switch in its place with a regular soldering iron. After adding the last two components, this board was completed and now we can add coin cell to its place and see if the board is working or not. And it's working. To turn on the system, we use the slide switch and to change the LED animation, we have to use button on the top side. By pressing it, the LED glows in a chasing sequence or they get turned off entirely. Now this is a necklace so I have added this hole at the top side so we can add any regular chain to wear it like a glowing piece of jewelry. Also we can use it as a keychain or use ID card strap to wear it as a maker badge. Well this is it for today folks. Thanks again for watching this video and I'll see you guys with the next project. Peace out.